Welcome back everyone to Football Mania for everything you need to know about the UFL 2014. So the second match at hand is going to be Global contra Green Archers United. Yes, we've missed both these teams very much. And uh, no first round, Global lost to the Sparks in their first ever game in the league. But they started winning all their games after that. Pero nung nakalaban na nila ang Archers, aba nag-draw sila. Yeah. But come the second round, Global found a way and Global got their revenge. Ngayon, is it time ba for Archers to seek revenge? Or will it be Global again? Yes, as you remember again, this is the third round, which means it is the last time that each team will go against each other. So, tignan natin ang six-match unbeaten run ng Global. So, that's, that's quite a feat. Six matches, all straight wins. Now, if you look at this, no, uh, most of the goals of Global came from Mark Hartman and Milad Begandom. So that's uh, 32 goals if you combine both their scores. Yes, that's true. The first five games they played in March, well, how they started the second round was very strong. Winning very convincing wins, you know, 7-0, 3-0, 9-0. But come April, though, almost at the start of the third round, they actually drew Stallions but hopefully the break will help them restart again to go back to their winning ways. And uh, two of the players that they acquired no, no transfer window na yun are, are uh, Iranians. Uh, one Iranian rather, Hamed Hajimadi and the oh Neil Dorimon from San Beda. So it's nice to see a lot of uh, uh, Mexican players. Uh, um, heard from uh, the global camp. Big and Dom, we a chance uh, headed by El Habib. What a stop, Mula Kai Hong in goal. Uh, just through his body putting his body on the line there, Wong Kong rather. Uh, Peter Hong, and uh, this is a great ball here from Jason De Jong and Milad Bigandum, the first touch was just going away from him but Izo El Abib unable to direct the ball to that bottom corner as Hong putting his body on the line and extending himself, just making himself big there. Here is the Sudanese striker. Chance for El Habib. Took a touch. Hits the post. But I began dumb. And of course, this March transfer window doesn't end until March 31st. Your orders pa. Matagal tagal pa. And uh, don't be surprised, really, of also if uh, no, Ben Starok. Challenge from the back. Well, my makikita tayong uh, substitution para dito sa Global very early in this second period. Nabo Bustillo already waiting to call. really push Global to the limit. Samuel Bonnie in a race on the right flank. Decision para kay Ariel Montaña and Samuel Bonnie talking to Milad Bigandom and he's reacted to it. A decision to make para kay Ariel Montaña. It looks like as if he's going to book Milad Bigandom here. And Samuel Bonnie was in his face a very, for going down easily. A very tense affair. Just this typifies and characterizes how important this match is for the two teams that we have. Bonnie there may have gotten away with the tug as well. Begando may have made the most out of that one. But ahead na itong si, si Milad Begandom. And, you know, with the, the trend that, that's been going on in this match, you know, Goyt Cañedo also, biktima ng ganun, I, I don't think, magbibigay na si Ariel Montaña ng ganun klaseng the soft, softest of touches na magtutumba ka, hindi ka bibigyan ng foul ni Ariel Montaña. This defense uh, has really grown very, very comfortable in the past few matches. All because yung kanilang atake you know, has been their best defense for quite some time already. Bigandom. Couldn't go right, he's looking back left. And then si Daisuke Sato sumusuporta.
Starosta with a cross. Header, and that's in. Breakthrough goal coming from Begendom. And Global is on the board. Perfectly executed offense from, Mila, from, from Starosta. Crossing and seeing Milad heading that ball out of Hasegawa's reach. Great finish, clinical finish, getting to the global. And that's them not taking Team Socceroo any lightly. And there you see Milad just finding that ball, heading it to the first post, just beating Hasegawa. Great cross by Starosta. Gigandum on the board now. Global on the board. And that is a fifth minute goal, the official time. Stossa loses it again. Oh, beautiful pass. Big and dumb. Trying to get away. He does attempt and make that 5 0. Brace as well for Milad Begindom. And again, coming off a defensive error from Team Sakaru. Begindom just taking advantage of the situation. Beautiful. Through. Asagawa oh. beaten. Not able to get back on time and open net. Out of these five goals, can you honestly say that Hasegawa has played it wrong? Or no, definitely, or it's not, just been definitely the, the, not played it wrong. It's just really... It's the defense? It's, yeah, definitely the defense. And Jason. But those four goals, I think, and especially that goal off the volley from the corner kick and the free kick as yes. well. Uh-oh. Look at this, a very fresh. And it's Christians Dama. again, I think. <laughs> there he is. Here he is. Flag Play stays down. <laughs> Another opportunity. Oh. And there is a 9 0 scoreline that they were looking so hard there to duplicate. Is. There it is, Anthony. They got the exact same scoreline here tonight. Because Napo, Bustinho. Well, they're going to say it's going to be for Milad this time. Pahong Doman gets his score goal as well here today. Watch it once again. Baka pumito ng ayong ating referee rito. And if we go back, no, Anthony, it all started. It was that wall pass again, no? That just broke up that defense of Team Sakuru. That quick one two passing. And that is it. But I guess your prediction and mine goes out the window because you and I thought at, at the most seven. Breaking free there. Great move and what a strike. Milad Bigandom. Wonderful. Bypassing the defense and striking it all on his own individual Wonderful. brilliance. Wonderful finish by Bigandom. Jingen. We were talking about it, you know, you got the easy Elabir, you got Begandom as well. Fantastic finish from him. Love to see a replay again taking on those defenders. Who needs build up when you got skill like this? Let's see it again. In between the two defenders of Stallions, Jake. Great finish there. And right before this play, it was Stallions had their chance that header from Bato, and I was just going to mention Jake, it was taking too long from Bato
hindi nga ready si Paolo noon. Eh, ito, eh, nakapantay siya, pantay sarado. Not just Paolo, but the defense of Global as well. Mahadoran continues to talk to our referee. But he has not yet gotten the call. Changing the play. Going to Perez. Great pass by Oshide. And that is a really poor cross. Talk about global. Talk about their schedule. As we look at the replay here. Alam mo talagang sarap panorin ito kasama nga ito. Paulit-ulit. Ating papanoorin. The result stays the same. Taher with a fantastic shot. Taher. Taher has really offered himself up. Kanina pa nga, remember, I mean, even prior to his goal, as we take a look at Taher, he likes to create chances. He's a defensive anchor, provides leadership, and today he has provided the goal. Saan ka nakakita ng defender that is an anchor and helps create chances? <laughs> There's an opportunity here. The Misak, they're very, very disappointed about that one. He had some space, a fraction of a second earlier. Another corner. And it goes awry once again. Taking too long for this play to develop. There's an opportunity now. And again, it goes begging. Charles Pettis. We're trying to test again how fit and mobile Don't see Russell Pearson. Number six is down. Martin Vidmar. Yung isa sa mga recruits ni manager S.E. Sedic. Field German. And as I was saying earlier, kasama ng Anthony Global, talking about their early season schedule. This is actually their third game in seven days. And sa tatlong game na yon, first game nila Loyola, pangalawang game nila ang Kaya. So not exactly the easiest of teams to begin the season with. Talk about being tested very early on. You're being thrown into the the cauldron of fire. Kakao pisa pala ng ating liga. And uh, lest we forget also, and napakarami ng nas injured list ng Global. And there you can see, we will never forget. That is actually the day, November 8, 2013. Nakasulat yan sa jerseys ng uh, Global. That is a day that Yolanda hit uh, uh, Leyte, which is of course is the province of manager Dan Palami. Kaya nga sabi nila, they're dedicating this league season to the victims of Typhoon Yolanda. And you can see, tama yung ginagawa ng management. I like the direction of management. Obviously, you want to always remember our brothers and sisters back home. That's not a, the best of back passes to a goalkeeper who's supposedly on a ginger leg. But at the same time, ang ginagawa ng management is nagahanap sila ng mga angulo para at least para yung mga players ma-focus lalo, eh, no? And not to mention, uh, motivated sila uh, to perform at their very best because they're not just playing for themselves. Not just playing for management, but also for the people back home. Nice turn. But they're going to lose possession. Perfect position there by Taher once again. Nice stop. And there, slamming it through, is the man who just came in. Number 13, Milan Begando. If the first time you don't succeed, but the second time you don't succeed, try and try again. Iyan ang moto ng global ngayong araw na to. Third time lucky para sa kanila. Milan Begando. Scoring the goal that gives them a 2-1 lead. Relentless pressure again and again and again. Nahuli na ng konti si Taher. Russell Pearson stretched from the right side of his goal to the left side. Christians, Hartman, finally, Milad, showing everybody how it's done.
and he is the freshest player on that pitch. Nakita mo, so quick to be able to react. The freshest player and the happiest player ngayong araw na to. So far, Milad Bengandom. Coming off the bench, scoring the second goal para sa global. With some space, Milad, his pass onside, they say. I just don't see how they... Plank. Ajimedi, Pegando, great move, great shot, but it's just wide right. Well, so tricky, so crafty inside that penalty box. Ito si Milad Pegando. Global off to a fine start here. And look at this, like Kirk Dizon, Obina committing that one, committing to the challenge, but he loses it. Kurt Dizon wisely directs it to Milad Pegando and uh, almost uh, similarly scores against in the game against that. Walang siya ng pasensya dun. Miscue from Dato and Soliman. Shot. Oh, and it's just missing that top corner. Well, Milad Pigandom. His work rate. The difference there. Alam niya, it was, a, it was a, almost an hope, a, a hopeless cause, but he saw danger on the part of archers and he smelled blood and he tried to cash in on it. Indiga uh, uh, win because Global is the type of team that can punish you. Trickily, 
thought he's not listening to me. Look at that. The ball was so far away. We're kidding, we're silent. Don't play on the ball, really. That's deserving. Nice stop! And there, slamming it through, is the man who just came in. Number 13, Milan Begando. I just don't see how they. where the goal will come from. I understand what you're talking about. They just don't look threatening, and there is an easy goal. Tinas ng linesman ng kanyang kamay. That was clear. That was that was that was past. We'll get it here with Shabid as soon. And it has the potential to be a very devastating partnership as well. Shadide Mejo, Miss Malake, more of a target man. He can hold on to that ball, wait for Doctora, or give those passes. He, he has great vision as well. Chance here for Globo, headed into the back of the net. Daisuke Sato getting the opener for Globo. Came from across once again, Mikey. Came from that cross again down that right wing. And Stalin's not being able to clear. And I think even Mieras was caught there. He didn't know that Daisato was right behind him, Jing. He was just caught great. He's been defending fantastically, but he was just caught there. Hindi niya nakita na sa likod niya si Sato. And he was much more quicker to react than Mieras. Again, the cross here. The danger from Global down those crosses. There we see Nieras. Looks like Nate Alquiroz actually. Alquiroz, one of the two youngsters was just beaten in their, behind them. We were saying at Jing, the danger from Global is coming from these crosses. Yeah, 
Ulu Kandun is not the Kiroska that is the best. Should have put a body on him there, no Jing? And all those missed chances now coming into play by the Stallion as Daisuke Sato um, gets the opener for Global. And just didn't get the power behind it. Breaking free there. Great move and what a strike! Milad Bigandom. Wonderful. Bypassing the defense and striking it all on his own individual Wonderful. brilliance. Wonderful finish by Begandom. Jing, and we were talking about it. You know, you got the Isa Salabir, you got Begandom as well. Fantastic finish from him. Love to see a replay again taking on those defenders. Who needs build up when you got skill like this? Let's see if you can. In between the two defenders of Stallions, Jing. Great finish there. And right before this play, it was Stallions had their chance to um, header from Bato. And I was just going to mention, Jing, it was taking too long from Bato to get back into his position in the defense. And Begandom just took advantage of that. Begandom continuing his. And perhaps getting in the way of each other was Arenz and Doctora. Wonderful move there from Rodriguez. Rota trying to lift it over for Derudi in the chase. Great and here's ball. a great, great opportunity. Baras the Stallion. And there is a goal back for the defending champions. I believe that was Fitch Arboleda. No, it wasn't. Oh, yes, it is. It is. It is. It's the youngster, Jake, who got the goal. Wonderful ball there from Doctora in between the defenders. Great vision from Ruben Doctora. Game on here at the Emperador Stadium. We're just talking about how global we're getting into their style of play. Sila naman ang nahuli sa counter-attack, no? Opposite of the first half, it was Stallions attacking. They got caught with that goal, and here, it's been the opposite. Here we see that they try to lift the ball behind. And Pettis with a bad clearance. Just bad clearance there from Pettis. Fell straight to Doctora. With a Fitch. quick one touch to Arboleda. Great finishing from the youngster again. Able to do what Ruben Doctora wasn't able to do in the first half, and that's breach. I don't see Roland Sadio has been a real wall for Global. Like I was saying, Mikey, yung kagandahan, yung pagkonsider na maaga. A foul on Dejong. Let's see a replay again, Jing. And he screams, but... Dejong having some words para kay Nasser Tururian. Saying there wasn't much... <laughs> Great ball again from opportunity here, and that's an own goal into the back of the net. It's all level now. Stallion two, global two. Nasser Durudian forcing the own goal from Valkama. It was basically the same play, Jing, but opposite side. Same play from Doctora getting the ball right outside the box. Earlier, it was a pass to the right side to Arboleda. This time, it was a pass. Here we see it. He was going to give it to his right, fake the pass, gave it to the left. Nasser hammered it in, wasn't the best shot, it was going out, came off Kama, and own goal. But if we see the replay, if it didn't come off Kama, there's a player, I think it was Arboleda, sneaking into the, through the back, second post, Jing, there he is. He could have got a second goal, maybe, or Alkidos. Talk about a great fight back here, Paras Stallion, and now they're on track to actually go ahead and win this game. Nasser Dururian. Petis is having a mistake there. Doctora could have taken advantage. Aaron Alkicha getting ready to come in. Para kay Daisuke Sato, who scored a goal in the first half. De Jong. Magsak para kay Bigandom. Gets it out of his feet, and what a strike! Unbelievable skill from the Iranian striker. Global back in front. Fantastic finish again there for Bigandom. Great footwork again inside the box, Jing, from the Iranian. Second time around, the defense wasn't able to stop him with the first goal. Fantastic footwork, and here again in the second goal. Still had plenty to do when he received that ball inside the box. You see, the jump tried to take it all by himself. You see, up here. Takes the turn, takes on the defender. 
just looking for that far post on Wilson Mignon. You will see it again. Great finishing. Not begin Shen on Conting's Spasho, and there's only one thing on his mind is to hit that far corner. Great finish from Milad Bigandom. He could be the difference in this game. Second half, great second. It does the first half, and they're definitely showing it now after that third goal, which they know they need the three points since they're stepping it up now, but they should have done this since the beginning of the game, no, Jing? Clarinho gets his foot to that. Straight over to Ruben Doctora. Great chance here. Open goal. Salia misses the ball, and it's the third. Faras a stallion. Great equalizer for Ruben Doctora. And Ruben Doctora, Jane, just proving his worth out of nothing, all alone. Not a lone striker here for Stallions, taking on this four-man defense of, of Global all by himself, Jing. Here we see him again, the through ball. Doctora just beating the keeper to that sprint. Just got to give it up to Doctora, Jing. And you said it, not that confidence of his. It's just up, up there ever since he's been playing for the Ascals and definitely deserving those calls for the national team. Coolly slotted into the back of the net for the first time in this game. Finally, naunahan niya itong si Roland Sadia. Finally, he's got his chance, his goal. What a game he's had here tonight. Two assists, one goal. Here's great wish, flipping it over. Pablo. Get some space attempt and it's 3 0. 3 0 for Kaya. And they pick up right where they left off. Pablo making a very, very strong effort for man of the match. And just when you think the Loyola Miranda Sparks were addressing their problems, in comes Pablo Rodriguez, I think, with a dagger. Kick will come from Billy John at the goal scorer. Header. Wow, beautiful goal! Tim Song. Tim Song taking advantage of that height right there. Heading that ball and Songu, Sangu. Outstretched. He's able to tip that ball, but it's just too late. Here. Sends it in. Pablo with the header! And Kaya! Breakthrough! 1-0 for the black and yellow. What a header there from Pablo Rodriguez and look how much it means to Kaya as of the moment. And that was a terrific delivery from Beer and, and right straight into the head of Pablo Rodriguez. Samuel Boni could do little about it. Straight over to Ruben Doctora. Great chance here. Open goal. Sadia misses the ball. And it's the third. Faras a stallion. Great equalizer for Ruben Doctora. And Ruben Doctora, Jane, just proving his worth. Out of nothing, all alone. Not a lone striker here for Stalin. Taking on this four man defense of, of Global all by himself, Jane. Here we see him again, the through ball. Doctora just beating the keeper to the sprint. Breaking free there. Quick move and what a strike. Milad Bigandom. Bypassing the defense and striking it all on his own. Individual brilliance. Wonderful finish by Bigandom. Chicken. We're talking about it, you know, you got Maisa Salabir, so you got Begandom as well. Fantastic finish from him. Gets it out of his feet, and what a strike! Unbelievable skill from the Iranian striker. Global back in front. Fantastic finish again there from Begandom. Great footwork again inside the box, Jing. From the Iranian. Second time around, the defense wasn't able to stop him. 